Hi, and welcome to Hemophilia with Bob. To understand hemophilia, one must first understand basic genetics. Boys have an X chromosome and a Y chromosome, while girls have just two X chromosomes. A child gets one of the two X chromosomes from the mom, and either an X chromosome or a Y chromosome from the dad. Hemophilia is carried on the X chromosome. This is why it is much more common in boys and rare in girls. When a mother is a carrier, she has one X chromosome with the hemophilia gene. If the father is unaffected by hemophilia, then there is a 25% chance of a son with hemophilia and a 25% chance of a carrier daughter. If the father has hemophilia but the mother is unaffected, all the daughters will be carriers. If the father has hemophilia and the mother is a carrier, there is a 25% chance the daughter will have hemophilia, a 25% chance she is a carrier, and a 25% chance the son has hemophilia. Now for a quick history about hemophilia. Hemophilia is sometimes called the royal disease because the Queen of England, Queen Victoria, from 1837 to 1901 was a carrier of hemophilia. Leopold, her eighth child, had a son before dying of a brain hemorrhage at age 31. His daughter was a carrier, and his son also had hemophilia and also died of a hemorrhage. To understand hemophilia, one must first understand normal hemostasis. This is a process which causes bleeding to stop and is the first stage of healing. Hemostasis changes the blood from a liquid to a gel. When there is an injury, von Willebrand factor is secreted by the endothelial cells, which initiates hemostasis. Endothelial cells normally secrete co co coagulation and aggregation inhibitors to prevent clotting. However, when there is an injury, they stop this in order to stop the bleeding. Hemostasis involves three steps. Number one, vascular spasm. This causes vasoconstriction, which helps to reduce blood loss. Number two, the platelet plug. This is when the platelets stick together and form a plug that temporarily blocks the break in the wall of the vessel. Number three, coagulation. This reinforces the plug with fiber and threads to help create a clot and stop the bleeding. There are three types of hemophilia. Hemophilia A, which is the most common and caused by insufficient clotting factor 8. Hemophilia B, which is the second most common type of hemophilia and is caused by insufficient clotting factor 9. These two types of hemophilia, A and B, can't be passed down from father to son because it is located on the X chromosome. It is passed from the carrier mother to the son. The last type of hemophilia, type C, is the least common type of hemophilia and caused by insufficient clotting factor 11. The symptoms are often mild and can be given to children by either parent and can occur in girls and boys. Some symptoms of hemophilia include bleeding and bruising that occur for, for no reason, internal bleeding, and sore joints. Signs of bleeding in the brain include sleepiness, head and neck pain, vomiting, double vision, convulsions or seizures, and or changes in behavior. Bleeding in the nervous system is the main cause of death in people with hemophilia. Intracranial bleeding is the most common, leading to 25-30% to 30 of hemophilia deaths in the last 10 years. There are many complications with bleeding in the nervous system, including paralysis, impaired intellectual functions, and seizures. Hemophilia does not have much effect on the endocrine system. However, the liver, which is part of the exocrine system, can be affected when dealing with the donated blood, as there is always a small risk of hepatitis and HIV. The immune system develops antibodies in antifactor 8 in hemophilia A and antifactor 9 in hemophilia B. A treatment used is called immune tolerance induction therapy, which says bye-bye to the inhibitor and permits the regular dosage of clotting factors. Hemophilia can cause these four major complications. Deep internal bleeding, which is e an even bigger problem than external bleeding, can cause the limbs to swell. This can lead to pain or numbness if the swelling presses on the nerves. Damage to the joints, which is also caused by internal swelling, can put pressure on joints and can cause severe pain and can also lead to the destruction of joints and arthritis. Adverse reaction to the clotting factor, which is when the body has a negative reaction to the clotting factors that are being used to treat bleeding. The immune system develops inhibitors that will inactivate the clotting factors, thus messing up the treatment. And heavy bleeding, such as from cuts and nosebleeds, are major concerns, especially when dealing with children. Blood can also be present in the urine or stool. In summary, hemophilia affects homeostasis because conditions are no longer stable with the lack of clotting factors, leading to intense bleeding. Hemophilia does not affect the cell membrane much. 
but it would involve the nucleus of the cell as that is where the X chromosome would be located. Proteins are affected because the blood clotting proteins are not able to perform properly. Thank you for watching Hemophilia with Bob. See you next time.